What's up guys, NYK31 here, here bringing you HP Legends Season 2 Online Dynasty in the rain at La Tech. Seems to be a lot of rain in the bayou, as La Tech is hanging on to the fringes of the top 25 against number 3 and unbeaten Ohio. Starting out on defense against Coach Twist, the Kamish and his tornado spread custom offense that he's been running for a few years now a couple of years now a couple of editions of the game he's got a system down pretty nicely perfected dare I say and rolling with a good team with the um, right style of quarterback to run it and offensive personnel I'm rolling with my run and shoot my custom run and shoot and the 425 and that is what I wanted to focus on in this video is the 425 defense I've really been enjoying my uh, little foray into the 425 and I've always liked the way um, Gary Peterson and Bud Foster have um, played defense both at um, TCU and Virginia Ugh, Virginia Tech collectively or respectively rather Louisiana Tech can and this learning this playbook and learning the ins and outs of the various sets have been a lot of fun and one of the things that I really like about it is that it offers you a lot of well similar to the 335 stack you do have a lot of deception and a lot of um, ways to bring zone and man pressure but I really like the ability to be um, in my opinion, as opposed to the 335 stack, a lot more dynamic with your safeties while um, still playing relatively safe coverages behind it. I love the idea and the concepts of um, split field coverages as far as the dynamics you can do with your um, Robert defenders and being able to show anywhere between six and nine in the box and still play, for example, a sound um, pattern matching cover four behind it or brings a major pain off the edges so far doing a pretty decent job of it. I still make some mistakes when I get a front wrong um, personally the way I like to go about it is that if the ball is on the right hash or close to the right hash I'll come out in a um, some form of under front on the left hash I'll come out in an over I want to go too high, come out in the um, Oki, middle of the field. I'll come out in the um, 425 normal and then of course mix in the uh, traditional dime and nickel packages as personnel dictates. Like with this team, I'm not quite as deep as safety as I would like, but I'm you know pretty okay at corner considering the uh, talent level of the teams that we're using, so I'll use a lot more traditional nickel and dime in those passing situations. As far as the personnel that I like to target or I am targeting based on the way that I kind of want to get this done, I want to have my two defensive tackles be really strong block shedding, tackling, run plugging machines to kind of protect those two inside backers because if you look at the alignment, the inside backers pretty much have two gaps A and B and they're really going to need some help with those defensive tackles to um, keep bodies and blockers off of them and also to help penetrate safeties of course have to be dynamic they have to be strong enough at the um, line of scrimmage to be able to play the run you know you want your Troy Palomalu hybrid type of safeties who can uh, be physical but also um, play coverage in space the um, deep center fielder is very important very important as far as keeping things in front of them and not being fooled um, by who's going down the seam he wants to identify the uh, deep post and the deep seams and run with anything going deep down the slots my strong side defensive end I want to be a balanced type player leaning more towards the uh, run type of defender and my speed edge rusher being on the weak side or the right side. 
Here's always a nice thing when everyone crashes to the dive. It's called a blitz at that side, but everyone, the defensive end and the blitzers included, went dive. Always great when that happens. But being La Tech, I don't really have ideal pieces, so I kind of got to um, do the best of what I have and roll with that as we get a nice user catch from my beast freshman um, tight end. And we tie this sucker up. I'm trying to play some defense now and stop him, but as I was saying at the deep middle safety, he can't be late. And he eventually marches down and gets back on top. But I have enough time here to get a score on the board. I've been moving the ball pretty nicely. I've made a couple of mistakes on turnovers, interceptions, but overall playing pretty good. But I don't get it done there, so now I have to bring some heat there. And I drop back into cover two sink and pray that he's passing the ball, and he does. That's another thing I like about the 4-2-5. You have a little bit more covered flexibility. It's very adaptable to cover two. Um, a lot more than the 3-3-5 um, stack is. And I just love the split field zone concepts and zone blitz pass concepts. I'm pretty much doing what I can, tinkering around with it, trying to emulate how uh, TCU and Vatek implement it. Do you guys think that there's value in doing a breakdown of it this late in the game? We're going to have a new game in about three months. But if you guys want to see it, I have no problem doing some yapping as we hit the game winner in overtime. So there you go. Big game of my quarterback. Good enough game of my defense. Hope you guys enjoyed as we hand Ohio their first L of the season. Take care. Peace.